What's up guys? A lot of you guys have been asking. I know some of you in my recent videos have seen my boat and they, a lot of people want a boat tutorial. So finally today I got her out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it done with, get it over with. Whew, I can clip that one too. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about my boat, show you how I did it. Unfortunately, I did not get to do a DIY video because it was such a hassle and it was so sparse, spread, my goodness. Okay, it was so spread out. So like I didn't do everything at once. It was like one week, one week, one week. And still today, I mean, I'm adding stuff, you know, almost weekly. Next week I'm adding a couple light strips, which I'll, I'll get to later on. But this here is the boat. She's a 12 foot flat bottom um, CNM John boat. And when I found this boat, it was actually stripped. It was blank. It was just a normal flat bottom John boat. It was laying out my grandpa's bitch here upside down unused. I mean, there was plants growing in it. It was that, that dead. I mean, nothing had touched it. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, I didn't have the money to go out and buy a 20, 30, $40,000 bass boat. I'm just going to make my own and make do with what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's, what it's all about. I cannot talk today. So the first thing I did when I got the boat was I went ahead and I stripped it. I painted it, sanded the edges, um, got a couple, I think I put two layers of paint on, which it needs a new paint job already. Um, being outside in the winter time doesn't really help it. So the first thing I did was I painted the boat. Once I got the boat painted, I went ahead and I bought my, my decking, my stuff for my decking. I got my measurements out for it. And every boat's going to be different. No John boat's going to be the same. So everyone's measurements are going to be different. But once I got my measurements, I went ahead and I got my three quarter inch treated plywood and I laid that down. Once I laid the framing down, I kind of got the idea of what it all was, how it was going to fit. I went ahead and I bought my carpet. And I'm colorblind, so I thought this was brown, but apparently it's like a turf golf course. Golf course. Wow. That's like the third time. Golf course turf green carpet. It's the kind of carpet this is, I guess. I didn't know. My dad told me that. But anyway, I laid the decking down, got the deck down, and then made a little storage unit, as you can see right here. Just a little simple hinge. I believe that's a 24 inch, or maybe, I don't know what the size is on that, but a little hinge there. And got a nice storage unit underneath the whole deck. I used to put my tackle under there, but recently I've been starting to just put my nets under there, my life jacket and rain clothes, stuff like that. You know, lunch, cooler, whatnot. Up here in the front, I mounted, I went ahead and I had this trolling motor and it's just, a, it's nothing fancy. It's just a rear trolling motor for the back of a boat. It's a 30 pound thrust. But with these flat bottom John boats, you can't just mount a trolling motor to the front because if you look right here, there's nowhere to mount to. So I had to go ahead and make my own bracket with these here. And I believe this is a two by eight. I cut down and kind of made like a little L bracket as you can see and use some carriage bolts to get that secure to the front of the deck, which is also why I made this right here. Now, if you come around back here, you can see I gave myself about a four inch jump, kind of like a second deck for the trolling motor and it worked great because I was able to put my lights up here and my hummingbird which I'll get to here in a second. So once I got the deck done I went ahead and I bought some cheap rod ties you know they were like $14 off Amazon. I got uh, two packages so four rod ties um, for the front of the boat and I can hold about I would say eight to ten rods and, and still be able to fish comfortably up here by myself. It, it it's really fits great, works great. Um, I can travel down the highway with them and not have to worry about them coming out. And after that, I went ahead. And this floor is actually the newest thing to my boat. It's three quarter inch treated plywood with the same carpet. I didn't have a floor. I just had the metal in there. But that metal kind of got kind of got hot in the summertime. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to go ahead and put the floor in there because I've got a fiance now who I don't want to burn her toes off. So we got that in there. And then while I did the uh, front deck, I went ahead and I put a carpeted back seat here just so it's a little bit comfortable on your behinds after that we've got two two big batteries back here marine life batteries that i've got running this thing they're not lithium but that's an upgrade we're thinking about doing and they used to be real close together i just recently spreaded them out so i've got one on each side kind of the more maintain the weight balance and whatnot and i bought a couple connectors to connect the batteries and then here is another new addition to the boat is a 992 stroke mercury it is an awesome motor. Or I said two stroke, it's four stroke. It's a four stroke Mercury. It runs great. Um, right now I can get about 20 to 22 miles an hour on plain water. So that works great. So let's get over here. 
and let's talk about what we did with the wiring. Wiring is, is a big issue, a big hassle. A lot of people like me who don't know how to deal with wires and whatnot. So of course, if you wanna have a boat to be legal to fish, you know, at nighttime, you gotta have lights. So I've got my rear light right here and I've got my red and green marine lights up front. Now to do this, I had to run wires. There's a groove in the side of the boat. As you can see where that black duct tape is. I've got one on each side, little grooves. I ran wires all the way up to the front to this here control switch. And I've got four switches. I'm only, only using two of them. I've got a hummingbird and a light. So when I flip the lights one, all four of my lights or three of my lights come on. And then my hummingbird, which is my fish finder up here, of course, just flip that to turn this on. Works great, really convenient. And then I also mounted a little switch here for my, uh, or not a switch, an outlet for my trolling motor. This is for when I'm going down the road and I don't want this to accidentally bump on and start spinning out of control. When I get off the water, I can just unplug it and tuck it away in the cubby there. Um, after that, that's really about it. Um, the wiring was definitely the hardest part in getting some of the measurements down. And I got a gas tank right here which I'm still trying to figure out a way to do this. I've just got it sitting on the ground there and that runs with the gas line to the back of the motor there. But um, yeah, we're adding, we're adding stuff to the boat right now. I've got a uh, bunch of LED lights. I'm gonna go ahead and put those lights around the side here. I might make a video for that within the next couple days. You guys will see that. And then what else did I get? What else do I got? Do you remember? You're putting in a live well. I got a live well that's coming in course your bass fishing tournaments like me which i do fish tournaments in this boat it works great you know i beat i've beaten guys in bass boats before and it feels good when you're fishing out of something you found like this but the live well i plan on getting some just some live well material i can't remember the name of it but i'm just gonna go real narrow right right across this whole thing here with a uh, bilge pump and uh so i can pump water in and out and i might have to run some hoses to the back of the boat for that we'll still have to figure that out but yeah that is about it for the boat, the old Hoosier Hornet. The trailer actually came from uh, one of my dad's lawn customers. So I actually put in the guy's dock and he traded us for a trailer. And that's this, I went ahead and sanded that up, painted it black, got some new tires on it, some wheel wells and stuff like that. So no, this turned out really good. Um, this boat's been on two great lakes so far. Hopefully we're gonna get to all five, maybe not this year, but eventually. And uh, we got stickers coming for the boat. I think we're gonna turn this thing into a sick little John boat if it's not already. But uh, sometimes you gotta make do with what you got and this is what we got. Works perfect, gets the job done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment. Make sure you leave a like and a subscription if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And uh, keep fishing guys, thank you. What's up guys? Not sure if you can hear me, not even sure if you can see me. I'm using my phone to record. It's really windy. Now you try to use a little med right here on the bait caster. Not sure if I'll be able to cast it very far, but this is what I had with me. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. See if we can't catch fish. I'm talking really fast, I know. But phone's almost dead. Recording with my phone. Ned rig on the bait caster. So many things could go wrong here. Let's see what happens. It was actually pretty good. It's about a 15, 15, 20 foot cast. And this is like a, a medium heavy rod, so I'm not exactly sure how I'll be able to sense the bite or feel the bites. All right guys, it is extremely windy over here. I'm not sure if you can see me again, I'm using my phone, that, I keep saying that on a lot. We're just trying to catch a fish real fast so we can get out of here. Um, kind of conclude the rest of the video wrap up the rest of the video i'm gonna try out here it's a windblown point or corner um we're gonna go ahead and try and see if we can't catch something on an ed rig
this is not good. Let's grab three on the dock. I have three, two, and grab him. Oh my gosh. There he is. Go. Let's go, guys. Let's see if I can get this guy picked up. Ah, there we go. Finally, on the Ned Rig, guys. How I caught this fish was, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but I actually dropped the Ned Rig straight down from the end of the dock. And sometimes these fish, when the sun's shining, they'll sit just inside that last post. Guys, nice fish, about two pounder. They'll sit just inside that last post, or the, the inside two posts. I can't talk. But uh, he hit it as soon as it got down, and he wrapped me around the post like three times. I had a really hard time getting them unwrapped. But that's number one, guys. Or number two, I guess. So let's see if we can catch another one. So I just realized that in that last clip there that you could not see uh, my head in, in a good portion of the clip. So my apologize, my apologies for that. Gosh, I am like 0 for 10 on talking to that. Anyways, my apologize for that. Oh my gosh, my apologies for that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get over here and see if we can't catch one more fish before we call her. And uh, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So it was it was kind of a successful video. Um, we go ahead and we got a boat tutorial. I'm not sure if you've already seen it or if you're just about to right now. I haven't decided how many of the ladies' videos out into YouTube, but um, we got a boat tutorial done, a little bit of fishing, um, kind of explaining some stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. Always remember to keep fishing, never stop, as John B would say. And uh, that's Carson in the back. She didn't catch anything today. I got a fish. She caught one fish. I'll give her that. But uh, we are going to go home and get these videos ready for you guys to watch. If you're not already subscribed, please click subscribe, like the video, comment. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm new to all this stuff. Um, really looking for you guys' opinions just to see. You know, and I, I've got better camera equipment. It just wasn't charged to throw something together tonight. So here we are. Um, bear with me, guys. And uh, got anything to say? See you guys later. My hair is crazy. See you guys later.